Hello and welcome to this review of Behringer Main and Vine Pink Moscato. This is the last of the six. I've done five already and this is the sweetest of the six. I started at the driest and then proceeded on to the sweetest. Okay. Mm. So far so good, i got to say this. Um, I haven't had a bad one yet. And... Um, These wines just keep winning and winning and winning. Now the 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 foil this foil neck wrapper here. I found that they tend to reflect the actual color of the wine. Okay, I got the cork out over here. Put that on the side. <clears throat> So yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, generally. I thought it was 12 different varieties. I was checking the main and buying website yeah, uh, last week, and it was 14. But it could have added to it. The main and buying series was introduced in 2016, uh, so it's not an old series. Somebody was telling me, 2016? They've been around since 1876. I said, no, I mean the main and buying series. Oh yeah, that is rosé. Um, Matherns had that that oddly oddly and deeply discounted um, sale. If you bought six, you got them for fifty one percent off. I don't understand. I didn't ask questions, but I just bought them. Okay, uh, and they weren't bad dated. They were fresh. Um, let's <coughs> excuse me. Attractive floral and tropical fruit aromas highlighted. Should have had a comma there highlighted by flavors of ripe red berries. Okay, so let's think of it. Floral and tropical fruit room was highlighted by flavors of ripe red berry. All right. Well, like I say, it's rosé with a little orange tint to it now. Just like the Moscato was <coughs> um, like golden with an orange, uh, uh, a rose tint to it, so they kind of cross line a little bit. All right, I noticed that these <coughs> Moscatos, which is part of the uh, nine percent off, okay, and the product of Chile, you must have either they have big vineyards in Chile or they just contract with a company and buy their stuff. Uh, these uh, Moscatos, part of the uh, Vitus vinifera family of grapes, which is literally thousands of sub varieties, and they said they tend to have that foxy aroma, which is strange. You might find it strange. It's almost like a fusel smell, a, a fuel smell, and it's coming from those grape skins. It's peculiar. It's not a bad aroma. It's just a strange aroma, but I've gotten used to it, and. Um, the New York Concord grapes have the, that aroma too. That's your jelly grapes, you know, Welch's grape jelly. They make wine out of that stuff. Yes, they make wine out of it. And then you drink it, you smell it and drink it and say, it reminds me of like a peanut butter and, je peanut butter and jelly sandwich somehow. <laughs> okay. Now that um, I did a New York branded one, a New York wine, which was actually more expensive than this, if you include the sales price. Now, regularly it is less expensive. Okay, uh, they're both cheap, but that was the Richards Wild Irish Rose, and um, they also said they use that Vitus Vinifera grape. But that one is a little more exotic in the flavor, a little stranger. It is pure grape wine. It is not, it does not have sugar added or flavoring. It's just strange. Okay. But that's New York grapes. These are Chilean grapes. Um, there's a tanginess here. Certainly it's very sweet, but it, the tartness cuts into the sweetness. So it doesn't become gross, cloying you know, off-putting. Uh, I did see the Mugendavit 2020 white grape, 
you know, the white wine, and I did not buy it. I saw that in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and I thought, oh, they probably have it around here. I don't know. I might have to go do some research. And they had a good price on that. And there's two Mogan David 2020, and the 2020 has nothing to do with anything to date, nothing to do with vision. It used to be that it was a 20-ounce bottle, and it was 20% alcohol. Neither one of those things are true to date. But um, they have the red grape and the white, and those are pure grape wine. They, they have 15 other flavored ones, and I don't mess with flavored wine, okay? And I really don't like to review flavored beers or and, and hardly flavored liquor if you want to know the truth. Okay, um, mm -hmm. there's almost a savoriness to this. There's the grape skins, there's the lush body, medium body, and like I say, like a lush finish. It's like medium dry. Mm. No, it's 75% sweet and 25% dry. Okay. They balanced it out so nicely. It could just be cloying gross, but it's just sweet and nice. Sweet and nice. Nice and sweet. Um... This would not be the pick of the litter for me, of the six. That would be the red Moscato. It was a little drier, a little bit drier. Had a little bit more body, this a little thinner body. Had a little bit more alcohol, 10.5% as opposed to 9. But, yeah, somebody's calling. But anyway, this is highly recommended. Les Ailes, Les Bon Ton Relay. Buy and try it, and I bet you'll like it. So y'all come on down to Louisiana and try some Behringer wine.